Welcome back to Vice City, everybody. I forgot what part this is, so let's just get right into buying Cherry Poppers ice cream now for $20,000. <coughs> Watching this cutscene that I hate, not only because of the bitchy woman, but an uncontrollable song in the background, Africa. I can't take it out. You? Like, your new owner. Blah, 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 blah. blah. What are you talking about? Virgo, I yeah. You were a oh, child no. too, Maud Hansen. God, I I, I want to kill this lady like so badly, actually. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little boo who Mommy doesn't love you. You little shit. He isn't a child though. I mean I I, I hate Oh god. It's not that I <sighs> Fuck. Um, it's not that, like, I hate, I hate those, like, old you? women that say you, you your generation has no respect, cream, or okay? you, you kids don't respect kids. your elders. That's just them being jerks, like, they, it's just not that we don't respect this. them, it's just that, it's just that us kids nowadays are, are different, and I hate how elders... Shut up! I hate how elders are like, um, oh, you're, you're, you're still a child to me, even though Tommy's a 35-year-old man, so that's not a child. It's a grown-up, just like she was at that time. Yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. Uh, I hate you, too. What a nice lady. Still, you know, I hear there's good money in ice cream. I, l I love those quotes that Tommy makes. Ice cream purchased for 20000 And I've heard that if you save here on the PS2 version, the c save file gets corrupted. I don't know if that's true or not, but... I like AK, you can walk up these stairs, but... Anyways, let's get this mission going. Here's a Mr. Whoopi Van to distribute cherry poppers around Vice City. More transactions and making more police attention you'll get. Make a park your van, press the L3 button. Yeah, I know. Blah, 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 blah. Local gangs are not appreciated you doing business, so expect hostility if you do. No crap, because, like, that's why I'm gonna do it in Vice Port, an area where there's no gangs and a paint spray. So that's, that's, that's a good place to do it. That's where I'm going to do it. So this is gonna take a while, guys, so... It doesn't even tell you that you need to do 50, either. And you have to do 50 in a row, so that it, even if you, if you... Even if you get 49, you still, you have to get, still have to get 50 in a row. Like, even if you stop at 49, it doesn't even make an exception. Like, oh, okay, uh, you're one more there? Alright, we'll give it to you. No, you have to do the whole fucking mission over again. And that's stupid, because the game doesn't even tell you that you need to get 50 to go to complete the mission. Like, ha there's no way for us to know that besides looking it up. Like, what the fuck? Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that was a cop! I thought that was a cop that was running towards me. He looked like one at first, so I got scared. Alright, any of you want some, uh... Are you kidding me? Look at this fucking crazy asshole. God, I hate aggressive drivers. Alright. So, as more, cust as more, uh, um, pedestrians spawn, you know. I uh, hate slow walkers. I think we all hate slow walkers, but come on now. Okay, now he doesn't want anything. He's just gonna continue limping. Anybody, anybody want anything? Come on. What the hell's happening? Alright. Am I getting anything? Yeah. Still getting stuff. Alright, so this, this will be okay. Shit. I can't see, I can't see because of this stupid packer. Alright, these guys ain't, ain't doing shit for me, so time to move. Especially since that packer's blocking my view. Alright, so this is probably the safest location to do it, because, yeah, right here in Viceport is the safest location to do it. Hey, there's a bus! A bus that has no parking lo- I don't know if it has that parking location by the Civil Asset Forfeiture Impound Place. 
which is actually to my right here, which we're, which I hope to do a mission at in, in, in this part. Alright, so already a fifth of the way there. This mission is not that fun. I, I was about to say fun, but nah, it's pretty boring. And it's pretty tedious, too, considering, considering how much you have to watch out for cops. And this shit's slow as fuck. Like, if, if, if this mission wouldn't be a problem if you had something as fast as an Infernus, but... Yeah, cops could spawn anytime, so you gotta be careful. It's pretty tedious. Oh, he didn't get his ice cream, you kidding? Alright, any of you guys want some ice cream? I was listening to K Chat that way you don't have to worry about the radio. Because I have headphones on, so I, I can't really hear the game audio too good. <clears throat> so, yeah, because I, I don't want to have to worry about that, you know. I don't like that song. I love the song, but I can't. Oh, I could do Love Fist Fury, though. That's not going to be a problem. Just one of many fine shows right. we'll hear if you so be on the side there, that way, that way you're not in the middle of the road risking a cop to come at you on either side, you know. Suspect driving ice cream van. Oops. Aw, oh, come on! I didn't mean- I... Dude, you get stars all the time in this mission, but not for killing people. God damn it. Anyway, okay, well, always gotta look in front and and behind ancestors. you at all, all costs. And to your sides, too. To beat each other over gotta look everywhere, every time. Me to celebrate with every time you're delivering, every time you're making deals. You're, we're making good money with this, too, so that's, that's good. Very confusing if you ask me. And you did. And I asked myself, that is a perfect subject for a region-wide discussion show. Which is very lucky because I happen to host one. To discuss the subject of morality, we have Firebrand Preacher. All right, two fifths Pastor of the way there. The head of the Pastor Richard Salvation. Okay, you want anything? Yes, he does. Oh God! When you move, the then then the customer Pastor cancels. It's so frustrating. And those guys Jan that Brown, walk don't actually want ice cream. They're just very culture. slow walkers. MAPC. Like, let's say, let's say I, I wanted to do this. I don't know. See, he just walks away. Right like, uh, NPCs aren't. Th see, see, I. You have to stop. You have to stop for customers, because if if you move while the customer is coming to your van, then it cancels, which is really frustrating. Like I said, NPCs aren't the greatest in this game. They really started to improve in San Andreas and Vice City stories, to, in my opinion. It's my and Liberty person. City. Okay, okay, yes. whatever. I don't know about LCS, but yes. you know. Is it moral to be naked? Yes. Uh, yes. Morality. Well, morality is the, the only one I hear. So I, I, I barely hear any of the public safety or my positive. <gasps> no! Just cut a glimpse of myself, and my hair looks damn good. Oh my god! I was literally halfway through. I was pay at one go. second. I'm not paying attention. That's when a cop busts me. Fucking kidding me! And I hate when the NPCs glitch out too. Just the five of us. After a mix-up at the adoption agency, the Chesterfields came home with three zany new house guests. Timmy, tidy your room and go to bed. I'm so sick of it. I keep telling you I've got a fair disease. I look 12, but I'm a 42 year old. Okay, I, I like that. I hate when the NPCs glitch out like that. Don't. Okay, yeah, I had a customer die from getting ran over by traffic. Like that. Oh my god. All right, 31. That's cool. All right, no star. I'm gonna just continue on this road, it's more safer. It's the funniest, most touching half hour on television. Charlotte, what's that smell? Because I don't have to be in the middle of the road for a cop to bust me. And this week it's a very special Any cops, any cops? No. Alright, looks like this is going well, I think. To just don't run my customers over. 
Sorry. Is that guy getting his ice cream or not? Oh my god. I have a special treat for you. I'm telling you, this one's on compact. Brian Adams, yay. But I can't listen to the song. Alright, 15 more. 15 more. I already done 10 from this last recording. Ugly cheap cow. She looks half dead. Hey, hey, hey. Seriously, man. Then it can't my style. I'm an artist, you know. Okay, Jess. 36. Any cops? See, it's when customers are running to my van, it's hard to tell if it's a cop. Because they both run. It's hard to tell if it's a cop or a, uh, you know. And, like, one star isn't a big deal. But, like, when I, if I get two stars, then, then I go to the pay and spray. Okay, that guy just glitched. The limping guy. Any more customers? Yay, the can the 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 village person. Ah <laughs> oh, crap! I, I didn't know. I didn't know the customer was there. All right, ten more. Oh, no! Oh my god! All right, well here we go again. At <laughs> forty, I can't stop getting busted. No, it's only on video. Like I, I don't, like I don't have bad luck when I'm doing this on my own. Okay, maybe I got busted a few yes, times, but not this much. It's my third attempt already. The fuck! I just need seven more. Ah! Uh, oh shit! Okay, okay. I, I thought if I moved, then it would cancel the customer, but nope. All right, so five more after this. Okay, I got a star. Uh, I had to, I had to move for that. All right. What about you? You kidding? All right. How about you guys? Gentlemen, I feel we really got somewhere. And that Vice City and people everywhere know a lot more I'm gonna do 51 just to be safe. And now, over to Jonathan and Melissa you know. to talk to you about public radio because, uh, I, because I'm having bad anxiety from like doing the shootest mission where I got 60 and still failed. Like, I know 50 is the goal. I, I know that. I just, I want to be sure, you know. I'm Jonathan Freeloader. Uh, cop, I got a star. I got a star. Is there anybody around? That was fascinating and very important for everyone. All right, just one more. All right, all right. Let's just keep going. Keep going. And you have to get out in order to, you know, even finish the mission. All right, all right. That's enough. Thank you. Thank you. I got two stars. But it doesn't matter because I passed the mission. Okay. All right, good, we did it, yay. Finally, after all that trouble. And that's just one mission, just like the Checkpoint Charlie shit. Da -na 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 -na. All right, I just want a better vehicle though. What do I got for a heavy weapon? Eh, I, like I said, I wanted to cause a rampage in the Malibu Club, but then again, you know. I don't, I want to take a good vehicle. There's never any good vehicles in Vice Port, but in both Vice City games. What? How did I get two stars? Uh, okay. Uh, there is a police bribe. Hey, hey, get out of my way. There's a police bribe somewhere. Oh, te yeah, it's still a uh, Sentinel. Get a better car. Get the fuck out of here! Why are the cops like everywhere I go? Gee, and they popped this tire? Are you fucking kidding me? Like Jesus Christ, tires are only like a small a small percentage of a car. Why why does it seem to be the thing that the cops hit have the least trouble hitting? Uh Show, which is very lucky because I happen to host All right, I don't want to drive a popped tire vehicle. Let me just get a get a stallion go to our next asset What the get out of here literally go fuck Cops are super fucking annoying me right now Like I have one star they're acting like it's two Is interesting as what happens when a man and a woman are passionately in love, or maybe things go wrong. Uh, uh, stop, stop. To sort things out, to make things whole and better again. 
when you're throwing household dishes at each other. Did you pull something nice? The heart and the quads are not enough. Okay. You know? So I don't know why I filmed the drive here, but. <laughs> Coffin cabs. I don't know if I'll have enough money for everything. Guess you're the new owner. What are you, Mob? Uh, at least they're not well, fucking Maud Hansen. This is anyway, Doris. I guess you better get on with the things are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, Ted yeah, looks embarrassed. Change around here, lady. Oh crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now here's this. We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management team. Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any. Yes, gang, you are. Actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Seti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Out. Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. Will do. All right, I need $120,000 to be able to to continue. Oh, I will be able to continue. Never mind. So this coffin cab is always here after you watch that cutscene, but it disappears forever. It's never there again. So you have to be in a coffin cab to do these missions. Okay, we got a high-class fare and he's picking up from Starfish Island. Any takers? Tommy here, I'll take it. Rock! I hate this mission. Because, uh, not the time limit, but just chasing the guy. VIP. I'm a VIP! And I want to live around people just like myself! Shady Edgars. Or how Jeremy Robard on VCPR says, Hey! Watch it there, mister! I'm a VIP! Or something like that. People around the world are nude. You don't want to shoot a machine gun or a howitzer or a flamethrower if you're naked. Okay. I don't know why it's a minute. Well, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, if you if the VC cab will get him and Tommy won't even know uh, I'm gonna turn around you always want to turn around for this to be ready to chase that's because you're Starfish Island one of the few missions we have here on Starfish Island Alright, I don't know if you have to get him back before they if they go to the airport. I don't know. Come on. Alright, now you just gotta make sure the uh Okay, good. Did the mission. You just have to make sure that the cab doesn't run over the VFP. But now that didn't happen, so we're all good. Very good. Uh, one sec. Oh no, we're good. I thought somebody was outside. That was really pointless for me to... I can listen to this song, I don't think it's copyright. We heard you say you're a VIP several thousand times. Hi, Avery Carrington is actually on the radio. Alright, so yes, this is one of the few missions we have at the airport, the other being loose ends, and then check out at the check-in. So I got a thousand bucks for that. And yeah, Coffin Cat mission strand is very easy, very fun, very easy. Kind, the kind of missions I like. So, yeah. I hate that this is in Vice City Stories where you get to take the shortcut, so I'm just gonna do this 
take this shortcut into back into Little Haiti to do the next Kaufman Cab mission. This also has a golf range, firing range, helipad, and exotic petting zoo. When your kids come to visit, you're successful. Start defining your lifestyle. Start defining yourself. Shady. Just gonna look for exit strategy here. Happiness is worth the price. Okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> dead stop. Uh, the box fail brings me to a dead stop. All right. I notice I have 75 armor, but I don't really think that's uh, something to worry about. You know. A VIP. <laughs> a v yeah, yeah. I was just talking about that. I'm a VIP. Alright, so a second Coffin Cast mission, probably the easiest one to do by far. I have many ways of uh, beating this mission, so we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be fun. Going all cars, we're losing fares all over town. What's with you guys? VC cabs keep beating us to it. They just got too many cars. We can't compete. Mr. Vasetti. If you're out there listening in, you wanna put the VC cabs out of action before we go bust? Okay, okay. So, destroy three taxis. Just this is just like taking it. This is a more independent version of uh, taking out the laundry in GTA 3. Except this one's way easier because even though they don't give you grenades or anything, you're pretty far into the game to know how to destroy vehicles. So uh, it's easier because in in this game, if you attack the van, if you attack the taxis, they they come after you. Which is easier, actually easier, but to destroy them. But if you, but if you attack a van in GTA 3 and from taking out the laundry, then they'll just like go away and they'll, they'll never stop, and it's therefore way harder to get them. Ugh, they're all going away from me. This is frustrating. Yeah, and fun fact, you don't actually have to keep the coffin cap for this mission. Ugh, I just, I, you don't want to attack one of them because then they'll chase you. I, 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 I do not recommend Uzi drive by uh, because that's... God, I don't know if he's going to go this way, straight, or... Uh, it goes right. Of course it goes right. Okay. Are we going to talk about being naked? Yes, in a minute, Barry. Alright, pull it M60. God damn it. Of course he had to turn. But that's good for me because now I can... because now I can trap him over here. Unless he doesn't go right. Let's just stop here. Yep, that's one. I'm gonna try to use a Spaz-12 for the second cab. Wait, what song was that? Oh, Pale Shelter, I don't really like that song. I wish they put Shout in this game instead, instead of Pale Shelter. I really do not like Pale Shelter. That's just my opinion. I love 80s songs, but I don't like all of them. Uh, please, please turn this. Please turn down this road. Yeah. Yes, sir. So glad I have the M60. But now, where are we going? Where is this guy now? I don't want to have to go back to the airport, man. Oh, wait. The cabs never stop, so you can't really throw grenades. I'll just do it Uzi drive by, I don't really care. Or, uh, do this. Hey, hey, there we go. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a lot of wanted level stars, ain't I? Yep. Alright, see you, see you, see you, see you later, cop. I got places to be. <laughs> Alright, so time for the last one. Can I take a coffin cab instead? I don't think so. 
Is that a cop? Are you kidding me? Stop spitting on me, asshole. All right, good. Good thing the Infernus is fast enough even to avoid the cop backing up. I just wanted to get there fast because I'm wasting a lot of time, you know, driving in this video. Alright, time for the last mission. The mo probably the most fun one by far. I don't know. Oh, fuck these Haitians, man. Oh, you spawned them. Cool. Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. Car 13, out. Cool. Wild, wild, wild. What the fuck? Why did I just spin out? I got a pop tire, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh my god, why, why do I have to be in this vehicle? For so, anyways, uh, Doris, I, we don't know if Doris is setting us up or if uh, a message from VC Cabs as undercover Mercedes. Uh, how does VC Cabs know about Tommy and Mercedes' relationship? Like, I don't know if they even have a relationship. Uh, God, I wish I was Tommy because then I wouldn't be focusing. Move! God! It's fucking people pissing me off! Like, like, he's going everywhere. Like, just, so... So, we think... Tommy thinks that Mercedes is being picked up, but it's not, because, uh... It's actually VC Cabs setting us up. We don't know if Doris is setting us up. Why would Doris set us up? Because, you know, we own the business, but, like... Yeah, like... You, you know what I'm talking about here, right? It's like, uh... No, so you have to beep again. So you you get on your kids for everything else, but you don't get on your so you, but you don't uh, send your kid to jail for killing somebody. Okay, that's why I hate that woman, Jen. So yeah, um, v six VC cabs, and usually speedrunners like to uh uh. Usually speedrunners uh. Fuck. I can't see. Speedrunners always destroy the cabs. So I always go over here and, and destroy them. I just wasted a grenade. At least I can detonate them whenever I want. And that's how you do a speedrun. Just like that. It's time for Gout means Caves Guardian Angel to eat some fender. Yeah, you're trying to take out the leader cab. All right. Yeah, and, that, and that's how you do it. And that's how speedrunners do it. That's how I like to do it, the speedrunning way. I don't really like to survive. Why is there a cop here? I thought that, I thought that was who I was supposed to kill. But yeah, this area is completely empty in Vice City, but in... In Vice City Stories, it's not. Alright, I got him. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Alright, taxi firm asset completed! Woo! So now I can use the nice ass uh, zebra cab. Yay! Um. All right. So let me take this. Do I get a star for stealing it? No. All right. So now time for uh, this asset that I'm about to do right here. Okay. This one. Yay. 
It's time for Sunshine Audio. Since the beginning of time, Oh, audio. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but... Sunshine Autos, and the way to complete this asset is only to do the first list of the car, ex car import export Smith. shit, you know. And you must be Mr. Vassetti. Would you like the tour? Might as well. Might well, as well. I'm very sad to be selling the dealership to y'all. This is my first investment after I turned pro. But now, it's time for me to move on. You're leaving town. Not in too much of a hurry, I hope. No, I'm just coming out of retirement and preparing for my future comeback. The business wasn't too strong, and my staff took it upon themselves to get a bit more creative with the generation of wealth. I might that saber tipper drives right through the zebra cab. <laughs> I could wind down the business before handing it over. Hell, I could burn the place down if I wanted to. This is prime development land. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any of that. This place seems wow, we free insurance. Yeah, ah, we all so wish, I huh? I love, I love this cutscene. It has "Stepping Out" by Joe Jackson in the background, first of all, and second of all, I love that cutscene because uh, Tommy gets to meet. Uh, Tom, Tommy gets to meet uh, B.J. Smith. So, alright, uh, sorry, I was texting. But anyways, I'm not going to show this off, so I'm going to show off the list of cars that we have to get, which is the Idaho, Esperanto, Rancher, and Blista Compact. All four of those cars have no spawning location at all. But the Ble but the Stallion and the Landstalker do. So I'm going to start off with the Landstalker, which is an easy vehicle to obtain, as, as if as it does have parking locations. I forgot there was a wall there. Wish there wasn't. You can still visit your old people. All right, so I'm. Not... Oh god, I have to sneeze. I think I have to sneeze. <coughs> Fuck. All right. Ooh. See, you don't have to do the the extra two two. Oh, is that a police? Oh shit! Give me that. The, I have one saved in my downtown garage. The whole reason I bought the safe house in the first place. And wasted a little money. If I didn't waste money on that, I probably would have enough, but... Oh my god, I'm gonna trap this guy in the garage. So, I had one parked in my uh, downtown garage, but... I ha if I have one here, then by all means, bring it to me. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the stallion's gonna be a tricky one, because you have to, you know, it's... Uh, it's required by... to get it from... The only parking location is from the mission. I <laughs> trapped him in the garage. So that's a Blista Compact. Now this is technically a side mission, but it's the only like car delivery shit that could get you to the final mission. And this is if you already did the Printworks asset. But if you... Uh, but I, I'm deciding to do that last because the penultimate mission is a Printworks mission, so... Yes. All right, we're gonna get the land stalker now. And provided we don't see any other vehicles that we need that don't have spawning locations, which I don't have to go to my all the way to my garage in downtown for, you know, just to save a little time. I'm just trying to watch out for cars that I might need. All right, so this is where the land stalker usually is, and it's not there. How fucking typical. All right, so I finally got it to spawn after two times of trying. Two more times off camera, I mean. So I guess three in total. So yeah, as long as I don't flip this, I'm good. Because. Or it could be a girl trying to suck my dick, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this is risky because I wanted to flip because then I have to go through the process of of, of uh, getting it again, which would be no problem if the Landstalker wasn't so damn hard to spawn. I'm sorry, Maurice, but I have to tell you, I, I, th I think I actually did flip it once on my way here, and I was pretty pissed. But then another one spawned, so I was like, oh, okay, good. Yeah, the lands, the, the the cars in these games, the cars in these games look so old, like 80s style. Obviously, I'm dumb for saying that, cause no shit, Nick. This is this game set in the 80s, but you you know what I'm talking about. Basically, Liberty City's version of the Landstalker looks more real, 
realistic. All, in fact, all Liberty City cars uh, from, you know, 1998 and 2001, they all look, you know, realistic to, you know, today's standards. But in, um, in GTA, uh, in Vice City, the cars look like boxy. It, the same, uh, just like this one. And San Andreas takes after this model, too. But Liberty City Stories in GTA 3, the, the Sentinels have a, uh, you know, a round, more rounder curve to it, and does, don't, doesn't look like a boxed, boxed version of a car like this, like... I don't know why Vice City and San Andreas cars have, are like box versions. Esperanto! Give me that. I was, go I was gonna get the Stallion, but thank you Esperanto for spawning. Uh, I'm getting- I'm trying to get the stallion from the other side of the city. But the Esperanto can spawn, but then by all means, go ahead. I didn't mean to do that, I just wanted to get there quickly. Cause you know. Oh, naked this and naked that. Okay. Uh, well, it is a bit cold there. People put on clothes when it's okay. cold. Okay. We evolved without a warm covering of hair. That's a lie, sir. All right, now I'm gonna go get the stallion. Okay, the sentinel always spawns here. I don't know why, because uh, usually the sentinel never spawns for me. All right, if I see any other car, I'll be more than glad to take it. See, they, they don't have spawning locations, so it's difficult to get them to spawn, but right now it seems like I'm getting them pretty easily. But I still have, but uh, Idaho and uh, Rancher still has yet to spawn, and if they don't, that's no problem, because I already have them saved in my downtown garage. Provided they, did, provided they didn't despawn, I hope not. Is that a stallion? No, I thought it was for a sec. Vice City? Why does it say Vice City? Like, we're in Ocean Beach. Now it says Ocean Beach. Alright, so go here. Hope there's a stallion inside the car park that's not that cone crazy mission. Yeah, remember that memory, guys, where we were grinding in that mission to make tons of money? The the biggest reward I got was fifty-one thousand dollars, and that's it. I couldn't I couldn't really do any better. And there we go. Stallion right there. And this is the last game to not let you know that it's a car that you need, because you know this game's just like GTA 3. San Andreas is the game that started the thing where if you get into a vehicle that's wanted for delivery, then you, then it says, then the message will pop up, but not in this game. I mean, it's no problem, because I can remember, like, what I, what I need to deliver, but I like how San Andreas started to do that. And I know there's something called Stevie's Car Thefts in Grand Theft Auto 4, but that's not really the same thing as looking for a car that the person needs, because the, the cars that Stevie wants in that game is, uh, are specific specific locations and not just, oh, you found a banshee here or a banshee there. Now you have to go to a specific banshee location. And, yeah. See, so yeah, I, don't, I don't know if Stevie's car exports are basically the car deliveries in that game. I think they are, but, but it's not like the 3D universe where you can just find any stallion and then bring it. No, you have to find the stallion in the parking location that Stevie texts you. They set sail for the new world, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very okay. hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Alright, so now I'm not gonna, um... I'm not gonna record the drives all the way to downtown, because, you know, I want to save some time. So, I'll see you at the downtown garage and show you what my garage looks like. So yeah, I had to put the Idaho... Let me move this stupid Esperanto out of the way, if I can. I have to put the Idaho. Um, I don't care about this Esperanto, so this can go to go to trash. 
and the police to compact I already got, but that Idaho I had to find again because I did have a first Idaho, but it despawned. And yeah, as you guys saw, I have I had I got enough hidden packages to have body armor. But yeah, this is my Idaho right here, so I'll see you guys back at the. We are at uh, with the Idaho delivering the Idaho now. And the guy that I trapped in the garage with the Blista Compact G spawn. So this thing, the, it, it says the same message as it does at GTA 3. This is what I mean. This game is so similar to GTA 3 since the two games are only a year a year apart. So. Yeah, I, ho I hope you guys know what I mean. I, care I compare this game to GTA 3 a lot. Because GTA 3 is like... The GTA 3 was basically my first GTA game, so... Um, so it has a special place in my heart, GTA 3, and Vice City basically took it to another level to me. Vice City to me was basically like GTA 3 plus Paradise equals perfection. That's what I thought of GTA 3, but anyways, I'll see you guys for the Rancher. Okay guys, and here's the final vehicle we need, the Rancher, yes. Got the Rancher, and now this is the final vehicle we need for List 1. And uh, we don't have to do the rest of the list to complete on with the story. Only only doing one list is necessary. And there is another side mission at Sunshine Auto's call, uh, which is the Vice City Street Racer. But mm, that's just racing side missions that unlock after you buy um, the Sunshine Auto's. They're not actually part of the Sunshine Auto's mission asset. You have to do only the, the first car delivery list is... The more the the other car delivery lists only increase the the asset value, but really only the first uh, Sunshine Auto's list is required. I'm doing everything that's required to beat through the storyline missions. So, and yeah, this is one of the things required, one of the optional things required. So, yeah. Okay, so here we are, and I do know that ev after every car delivery list, you get $20,000, and look at my money, guys. That's a bit of a problem, ain't, ain't it? So, I'm, I'm about to end the part right here, but you, but I'm, I'm not going to end it right here just yet, because you guys will see. You guys will see what I'm about to do. I know this is uh, here, that's the Deluxo. Um, I, because I, I'm about to end the part here and do the final four missions, um, you know, uh, I gotta, I gotta answer the phone, uh, Sunshine Autos with that, um, so, hold on guys, yeah, sorry about that guys, just had to answer a quick phone call, but, uh, you see our money now, which is a bit problematic, because the final asset we have to uh, buy is the uh, what am I supposed to say to that? Do I lie and make myself is the print works, which is seventy thousand dollars, and we don't have enough. But no problem, because we're 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 so close to seventy thousand dollars, and each car delivery list you finish gets you twenty thousand dollars. So I'm going to show myself in the last uh, minutes of this part getting the uh, um, getting the money required for the print works and I'm gonna end it here and then the next part will indeed be the final long play part of Vice City guys even though GTA 3 has more missions than this game but uh, but uh, this game this game is shorter but it does take longer with the grinds that you have to go through to you know get money for businesses and stuff like that so yeah so $2,000 Now let's go to Sunshine Autos, get some money. I oh, know we're gonna go to Cherry Poppers first. BJ's fifth of football. Watch those BJ's fifth of what? Well, I, I don't even. I don't know. Wonder what he's even saying. BJ's. Well, I don't even. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Three grand, that's still not enough, so we are going to go to Sunshine Autos and get the last bit of money that is there, if it's enough. 
we're going to be so poor after this, after we buy the print works, but that that's fine, because we, we don't really need money at that point anymore. And I do have enough money for the final mission, I think, for it not to all disappear. Ah, uh, 119. We just need a hundred fucking more dollars. <laughs> Uh, where can we get that though? I don't want to go to Versetti Estate because uh, there's no need for me to go there. I, I know I could just, you know. Uh, let's go back to a uh, cherry popper, see if we got a hundred dollars there. Okay, so we have enough. We're gonna have $16 once we buy the print works. <laughs> Alright, but I, sh I shouldn't save there. So that's kind of point- Alright, I'll save a coffin cabs, because that's close. Uh, and nah, then we'll have enough money by then. I'll show myself going to coffin cabs, getting some money there. Oh my god, we hear BJ talking too much now. Oh, that's obsession. No, stupid Haitians, but finally, okay, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the final part of Grand Theft Auto Vice City long play, as we play, try to play some Pogo the Monkey arcade shit here from GTA 3. See you guys uh, later, thank you so much.